But you know that won't be on the video because you know, light camera action. Right. <laughs> so, there we go. Question five. We should send the lights on. Yeah, great. The network represents a single track. Right, we've done all that bit, although it's not on the video. Um, <laughs> we've got to do some apply Dijkstra's algorithm to the network. I mean, you don't, you don't need to sit quite that close to it. You can make up the noise. <laughs> on my breath, I'll be like. <laughs> it's all on the video. Okay, so remember, we start with the, with the vertex G, that's the one we're beginning at. Uh, you write down the shortest distance as your working value to each of the others, so that's going to be three, four. It's only one it's directly connected to. We choose the smallest working value, which is the three. Make it permanent, so that becomes number two. What's directly connected to that? Three plus four is seven. Three plus seven is ten. Three plus three is six. Uh, choose the smallest working value, which will be the four then. You're all right, are you? Okay, you looked alarmed. <laughs> um, so we make that permanent, that becomes four. That's the third one to be selected as permanent. Uh, update the working values. 4 add 1 is 5. That's better than 6. Great. 4 add 7 is 11. That's worse than 10, so we don't write it down. 4 add 6 is 10. The smallest working value now is the 5 that's up here, so that becomes permanent. That is the fourth one to become permanent. 5 add 3 is 8, which is better than 10. Uh, the other ones that it's connected to are already made permanent. The smallest working value is the 7. That's the fifth one to become permanent. 7 add 8 is 15. 7 add 2 is 9, which is worse than 8, so we don't update it. 8 is now the smallest working value. 8 add 4 is 12, which is better than 15. 8 add 3 is 11, which is worse than 10, so we don't update. 10 is the smallest working value now, that's the seventh one, make it permanent, 10 at 5 is 15, which is worse than 12, so we don't update, so that becomes the last permanent value, and, uh, and that's what they were looking for, exactly that, I haven't picked up my mark scheme for that, but uh, they're looking for those working values and none others, okay, so they don't want any extra values hanging around, if you put you know, the, the 11 that we had there, then you will lose a mark for doing that. It's really strict. There's only one way to do this. You have to do it the way that they, they want you to do it. Write down, the, it says to find the shortest distance and write down the route. So this is where you do that little bit of working backwards. Uh, I, I would probably start by writing the letter we've ended up with, it was to end, wasn't it, that we were doing this? Yeah. So, uh, so that 12, 12 take away 4 is 8, so we must have come from L. 8 take away, where did we come from? 3 gives us 5, we must have come from I. 5 take away 3 isn't 3, 5 take away 1 is 4, so we must have come from J. 4 take away 4 is 0. That is the root. And the length of that route, because it did ask you to find the shortest length, is 12 kilometres. So that's making sure that we uh, tick all the boxes, that we, you know, we answer out exactly what the question was looking for. I am just going to remember. Have we got the marks key for that bit? Yes, there you go. So those marks. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's because... That's because you couldn't leave it alone, isn't it? So, mm. I was trying to get you looking for the mark scheme. You don't need to get looking for the mark scheme. People don't want to see you looking for the mark scheme. They want to see the water bottle. They just want to see the maths. I mean, it's all about the maths. Right, okay, is that lined up? Right, don't touch it again. Okay. There we go, so there were the marks. So one mark for 12 out of the five here, and one mark for the route. Is it lined up from them? Yeah. Good. Um, are we happy about that? Part two. Now this, this question goes a little bit unusual now because the question now says, Greg, whoever Greg is, wants to travel from the station represented by vertex G to N, but he especially wants to include the track KL in his journey. 
It's a really nice route through some nice valleys. Show how to use your working from part one to find the shortest journey that Greg can make that fulfills this requirement right down the route. Now look, this is, this is not starting again. This is show how to use your working from part one. So it, it's, it's not that usual to get a show bit in the D1 question, but we've got to be really careful that we're going to use what we've done. So, he could, he's got two choices, hasn't he? He could go from G to K, and then go the route to L, and then do the final bit to N. Visiting, yeah, he just needs to go from K to, L, to, to, to G to N, doesn't he? Or he could go from G to L, and then go to K, and then go to N. So we're going to consider both of those possibilities as things that he might do. So, um, part one gives the shortest arm oh, part, part one, there we are, gives shortest path from G to K or from G to L. So from part one, G to K equals seven. And then the quickest path from um, then L to N is 4. So our, our root in that one would be the 7 that gets us to K plus the 2 that is K to L. On our diagram, K to L is 2 to K. And then the 4, which gives us a total of 13. Or Uh, G, sorry, <coughs> to L. Again, from our from part one, G to L, we've got as being eight. K to N is six. So eight plus the two plus six gives us sixteen. So the best route is the thirteen, and that was G to K, or G to K is G to H to K and then to L, and then to N. And that is 13 kilometers. Um, yes, so they wanted the route, and they wanted some explanation of how you arrived at it. Part three. Now, it's turned into something else now, hasn't it, the question? The question now says, Percy <coughs> Lee, needs to check each track to see if any maintenance is required. It's an important job. He wants to start and end at the stage representing by vertex G and travel in one continuous route, passing each track at least once. This is, this is travelling, uh, it's not, it's um, route inspection, isn't it? It's a Chinese close person problem. Close person. Because um, he needs to travel along every single route at least once, it's exactly that problem. Apply the route inspection, Algorithm showing you're working. Right. So, route inspection algorithm. We know this. You're just following it step by step now. The route inspection algorithm says, shh, shh, write down the odd nodes to start with. So the odd vertices, our odd nodes, are I, K, M, and N. They're the ones that are odd. Then, you have to pair up your odd nodes. So we're going to start with a pairing of IK and MN. That's going to be my first pairing. Now, shortest path from I to K. I to K, uh, quickest way to get there involves going through L. It's I, L, K, and it's a distance of five. And M to N. Well, I'm going to look at my diagram on my own. Um, paper rather than flicking backwards and forwards. <coughs> but uh, M, N is 5 as well. So that's a total of 10. The next pairing is I, M and K, N. I to M, shortest path there is 6. That's I, L, M. And K to N, the shortest path, is 6 as well. K, L, N. So that gives me a total of 12. 
The last pairing is IN paired with KM. That was supposed to be the letter I. Um, I to N is a distance of, is that 7 that's best? I think it is, isn't it? ILN. And K to M is 5. KLM. So that's 12 as well. So that was my best option. The first one that I considered. Um, so that means we're going to add 10 to the total. Because we're going to repeat those edges. And we were told that the total was 60 at the very beginning. So that is 70 kilometres. And the arcs that we're repeating, well, to get from I to K, we're going I to L and then L to K. So we're repeating I, L, L, K, and M, N, those three arcs. Notice you've got to be careful what the question wants. It said, if he travels this distance, I'll write down those arcs that Percy will need to repeat. So that's that I'm writing down the arcs he needs to repeat. Finally, if he travels this, this, this minimum distance, how many times will he travel through the station represented by <coughs> vertex L? And at this point, although you haven't got the diagram in your answer book, I would probably go back to my question paper. I have just decided, I've just written it down, that I'm going to repeat the arc IL. I'm going to repeat the arc LK. I'm going to repeat the arc MN. So the question says, how many times will I travel through the stage and represented by vertex L? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which order is eight? Every time I arrive, I'm going to leave. And I'm not going to use those routes again. So if it's got an order of eight, that means I'm going to arrive and leave exactly four times. So we'll pass through exactly four times. You didn't need to say that the new order is eight, you just needed to say that. And then that's the end. That's nice. Great for doing. No, don't move the no, don't no.